Neil Jennings from Australia. Been here in Dubai for three months and I'm currently the assistant handicapper for Thoroughbreds, working closely with Melbourne Day. Working day normally starts about getting in the office about seven o'clock in the morning and there's no set time really in terms of our work our involvement. There's no, every day is different. So get in at seven o'clock. Generally we'll, we'll review the races from locally over the last few days and we also look at the black type races group and list of races for the World Thoroughbred Racehorse ranking. So I currently put all the ratings in for the Australian black type races and also New Zealand. Some days, like a meeting night like tonight, um, would have got into the office about two o'clock, watch all the races live, watch replays of them probably three or four times throughout the night, get home, may do a little bit of work later on in that evening, or if, if not, I'll probably work three or four hours um, during the morning tomorrow. The best part of the job is being on track, uh, watching the racing live, and then being able to reassess each horse's performance and make a decision, a professional judgment on what I believe and Mel believes is the right rating movement for every horse. Probably I would have to say is having a young family, it's very time consuming at times. As I said, it's not a nine to five job and having to be away from them for large proportions of the time can be hard, so they've got to try and get a fine balance. Been involved in horse racing for over two decades. Uh, I've spent the last 11 years as a senior handicapper working directly under Greg Carpenter at Racing Victoria, handling all the sprint races there, the new market, Oakley Plate, those sort of races. Um, so, yeah, basically all my life I've been involved in horse racing. Gee, I'd say I'd be a school teacher. Without a doubt, as I said, I've, I've been looking after the sprint division for in Australia for a number of years now, so without a doubt would have to be Black Caviar, the arrogance of her victories. Being undefeated in 25 starts and the manner she did it in uh, would definitely be her, but I also had a soft spot for a horse called Haylist, who was quite often uh, bridesmaid to her, and him winning the new market handicap with a met metric weight carrying record in 2000. And 12 with 58 and a half being there on track for him to beat buffering by a nose giving him four kilos was a special moment in racing. In Australia would have to be Flemington and I've only been here three months and I'd have to say the facilities at Maydan are outstanding but also enjoy the party atmosphere at Jebel Ali being there a couple meetings so far this season. I'd probably want to spend more funding on health and edu education, the health and education system. Now this is coming from a six year old son, Laura, so I would like to glide through the air like Superman. That's quite scary, isn't it? It looks like, as if I've done something wrong. So look, b being my final meal, I'd want to make it a good one. So I'd like a huge plate of lasagna and a raspberry cheesecake to follow. Now, I'll be in trouble if I don't say my beautiful wife. So my beautiful wife, Elena, would be one. Roger Federer would be the other one. And the third one would be Halle Berry.